Before I start this video, I want to thank everyone for waiting patiently for a new video to come out on this channel. This video is a group project from my AP Bio class and it covers the basics of how the immune system fights off smallpox. Anyways, enjoy. This is Smallpox by Ava, Jake, Jonathan, and Sierra. Smallpox is a pill-shaped virus that has a core on its inside and on the outside it is wrapped in surf surface tubules. The core contains core fibrils and is wrapped in a core envelope, which is all contained inside the palisade layer. Smallpox is airborne. You can also get it if the virus is sneezed onto you, if you kiss someone with it, or if you have blood-to-blood -blood contact such as sharing needles. Smallpox affects the lungs, kidneys, brain, and intestines. Here are the signs and the symptoms. There are many signs and symptoms to smallpox, but the most common are rashes, bumps, blisters, scabs, fever, the chills, and headaches or vomiting. At the first level of defense, there are two nonspecific barriers that are most at play, the mucous membranes and the cilia. The mucous membrane is an epithelial tissue that secretes mucus and that lines many body cavities such as the nose. Cilia are microscopic hair-like structures that move the mucus and trap particles away from your lungs. At the second level of defense, the macrophage engulfs the infected smallpox cell via phagocytosis, and the mast cell triggers inflammation, which causes the body to heat up and blood rushes to the site of where the smallpox virus is. It is highly unlikely that you survive smallpox, but in the third level of defense, the memory T cells will memorize the shape of the antigen to maintain your immunity from smallpox. If the virus will to re-enter your body, the T cells will attack the infected cells. And that's smallpox. Hope you enjoyed.